esta noche me la llevo. La tengo en mi All right, so here he is, the young Punisher, Pedro Munoz, and really dating to his UFC debut all the way back in 2014. He has been a relevant top 15 ranked Bantamweights. A lot of big wins to his credit. Of course, none bigger. You could argue that the TKO of the former champion, Cody Garbrandt, back at UFC 235. But Pedro Munoz is a problem, and oftentimes his leg kicks will change the narrative of the fight right out of the shoot. Tremendous power in both hands. Tremendous Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt he can lean on as well. But if you have watched Pedro Munoz's career, you know this man likes to show. Division. Skill for skill, he'll try to put it all together here tonight and make a run back to the Bantamweight title that he held when he beat Dominic Cruz, as you mentioned, back in 2016. for this one. Right, well, United Center, Chicago, Illinois, seemingly an annual destination for the combat sports leader, and great to have a UFC fight night back here in the Midwest tonight. You know, I love coming to Chicago. I love coming to this arena because the fans are so knowledgeable. This city welcomes the UFC with open arms every single time, and tonight we come with a banger of a fight call. Oh, nice angle, Pat. Great timing, better execution. Nice big old hand, right? All right, early action here, and Cody Garbrandt's speed just jumps out of the arena every time he competes. I mean, right away. It's very apparent from the moment the fight starts that his hand speed is going to be something that you have to deal with, and it's going to be a problem. And right away, you see Cody Garbrandt using that hand speed to dictate the fight. Nice punch there. He sets this really high pace with the hope that his opponent can't keep up, and we've seen him do it. Garbrandt's boxing looks sharp tonight, DC. You know, his uncle Robert Meese in the corner has got to like what he's seeing out of his nephew tonight. Just over three minutes now to go. Garbrandt's kick locked. So 
28 total strikes have now landed for Cody Garber. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability for a combination. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Back to the feet. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Defensively responsible, nice block. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Oh, that was beautiful. Let's go. Hands up. Oh, switch kick. Nailed it. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. And this guy has done his technique thousands of times. That's the high kick. How is he still standing? Holy smokes. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Beautiful strike. Cody tells stories of he and his brother Zach going at it for days. This is a born fighter. And of course, he has had mass appeal ever since donning those UFC gloves. Nice combination there. Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. right on that swollen area. He is in real trouble now. Referee may want to look for the doctor soon. Munoz gets tattooed by that elbow. These are raining down now on the ground. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on the fight. And it all comes together. Nothing feels better to go out. Big, big shots landed by him now. Side control now. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozen near here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. 
Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. 15 seconds. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round, and the end squad can only do so much, right? His face looks like it has been injected. It's so swollen. This fight could end at any moment. That's because he's out striking you, okay? So I need you to get in there. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready. Ready. Third Do round underway. Munoz gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand. Just got a ring. That'll do it! Cody Gaunt grand by knockout! Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 21 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Cody No Love Well, this is a man who can truly do it all inside that octagon, and he proved that yet again here tonight. Congratulations to the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Cody Garbrandt. No longer undefeated, but still on his best night. Looks the part of one of the best 135ers in the world. And don't be surprised to see him at the post-fight press conference call for an immediate title shot. He certainly did everything in his power to earn that here tonight.